mankind won't be destroyed. The fact that you and I are working here today is evidence of that.
good evening, ladies and gentlemen, uh, fellow staff, students, and partners and guests. Welcome to the Belling Park College Senior Formal for 2020. I'm Mr. Peter Saracini, and I'm the Year 12 Coordinator this year, and I'll be your host for this evening. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land which we meet tonight and pay our respects to the elders both past, present and future for they hold the memories, traditions and culture and hopes of Indigenous Australia. This is a wonderful evening for us to celebrate what has been a very difficult year to what we had initially planned, but we will make the most of it. I'm sure we can all be grateful for the fact that we can even have a gathering of this size and spare a thought for other Year 12 students in other states around the country who have had a far worse time than us. You all look absolutely fantastic. I'd just like to give a quick shout out to Logan for wearing the Godfather's suit and um, Lunga for wearing his pyjamas. Well done, you guys. Uh, a few, few quick rules this evening. All right, I'm sure we've all found the bar over on this side of the stage, okay, along with the bathrooms. Please be mindful, try and keep it one way traffic so we go this way to the bar and then come back through the doors at the back if we can just to stick with the COVID guidelines for the um, facility we're at. There's also to be no seat swapping during meals or throughout the night we're supposed to remain at our tables with minimal mingling, okay? Um, we'll hear from our school captains and some of our staff tonight, so please be respectful while they're talking. There'll be plenty of time later on to talk about Callum's perm and uh, to start us off, I'd like to welcome Mr. Edwards, our college principal. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Saracini, and, uh, and congratulations to the graduating uh, class of 2020. To say this is uh, a memorable uh, year is a bit of, of an understatement, and, uh, and I think uh, you all uh, need to take your, your head off to each other, which is an old expression, but uh, watching you all come in this evening, uh, it, it made me extremely proud not only to have watched you guys come through over the years, but to be part of this college is a privilege. And, uh, and uh, this is a special year, and I'm gonna talk about that in a little while, and I'm gonna be brief, but uh, this has been a special year, but you're also a special group of people. Um, and uh, absolutely wonderful evening tonight, and let's, let's talk about that just for a little while. I read a lot of, a lot of news, people who know me well, um, realise that, that, that the news interests me a lot and uh, when I'm reading the news a lot of the news I read is about young people and how young people are travelling in the world and people, you may have heard of COVID, has anybody heard of COVID? Um, it's a, <laughs> and people love to talk about COVID and the effect that COVID has on people and when I've been on parade and especially when I've been talking to uh, you on parade, uh, one of the things that you're celebrating tonight is that you don't need to listen to my monotonal voice drone on on parades anymore, so that's a great cause for celebration. But one of the things that I talk to you about on parade a fair bit is celebrating where you live and how you live. And I think tonight, we can talk about that a little bit. Tonight, you're at a beautiful hotel in a beautiful city, in a beautiful part of the world. And you've managed to get together to celebrate getting through year 12. And you've managed to get through year 12 in what I believe will be referred to as one of the COVID years. And that's an accomplishment. You didn't give up. And I want you to think about what I call relativism. It's been a tough year, we know that. And some of you have had a particularly rough run, not just because of COVID, 
but because of a whole pile of different things. You need to remember that. And you use that as a source of strength. A big source of strength. And you've got some scars, you've lost some skin. It hasn't been easy. And some people didn't make it. And you know what, as you go through, that's going to be repeated. And you're going to get sad because of it. And you're going to feel empathy because of it. And you've listened to Mr. Catalano and various other people talk about the Resilience Program and you talk, and they, at the Resilience Program Project. They've talked about empathy. And some of you have come through the last 17 or 18 years living empathy. But you've lived it. And I'm hoping that you're starting to see, or, you, or you've, you've experienced it at great length, that not all people are as lucky as you. And as you go through the next, I hope, 80 odd years, what's happened this year, in the last couple of years, holds you in good stead. And in a very laboured way, don't forget tonight, don't forget what it represents. Because not everybody gets to this stage and you need to use it. My last couple of things. While I know there's a whole pile of challenges in front of you and I do all the cliché things, your journey's just beginning, yada, yada, yada. And there's a whole pile of clichés around that, your journey's just beginning. You know, your whole life's in front of you. Yes, it is. But I'm extremely confident in your capacity to handle it depending on what's up here. And depending on your capacity to deal with adversity. Because guess what? It's not all going to be plain sailing. And when we're talking about resilience, and we're talking about adversity, and we're talking about your capacity to handle knocks, it's real. And this year, you've done it. The fact that you're sitting here means that you've done it. And we've got great school captains and they should be very proud of themselves. And we've got great sportsmen and they should be very proud of themselves. And we've got great academics and they should be very proud of themselves. But so should all the people who aren't school captains, who aren't great academics, and who aren't great sportsmen. And the fact that you're sitting here, that is a source of pride for you and your family. And don't underestimate it. Don't underplay it. Use it and kick on. We are so proud of you. And my last thing, my last thing, even if you don't have little brothers and sisters, even if you don't have nieces, nephews, or a whole pile of little people watching, there are little people watching. They're watching you. They're watching what you do next. And I'm not talking about what you do on Saturday morning. I'm not talking about what you do in January. They're watching you and what you do over the next couple of years. Take that responsibility seriously, please. Thank you for what you've done for Bentley Park College. We're incredibly proud of you. Let's kick on. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Edwards. Uh, now I'd like to introduce uh, some very special people. They are our four school captains. Okay, we'll first hear from Claudia, and then we'll go straight to Zaria. Give them a big round of applause, thank you. So. <laughs> All right. Good evening to those of you joining us tonight. A night I know many of us have looked forward to for quite some time. 
I would like to start by thanking the staff that have made our formal a reality. With a special thanks to Mr. Saracini and so-called school mum, Miss Kylie, for their persistence and dedication while working alongside our leadership team during these tough times. The uncertainty surrounding this year has not been easy. A chance to experience various school events for the last time has been kept at arm's length. So, I am beyond grateful to stand here amongst you all as we celebrate our hard work and resilience in style. Tonight is definitely not your typical formal, given the social distancing rules and absence of a dance floor, but it is what makes us unique. And even though we cannot dance, which I'm sure so many of you would have been great at, do not let that stop us from having a night to remember. Finally, in honour of our Under the Stars theme, I would like to conclude with a quote I stumbled upon. Reach high for the stars, lie hidden in your soul. Dream deep, for every dream precedes the goal. Thank you all for listening. Have an amazing night. First and foremost, I would like to also thank Mr. Saracini, the formal committee, and all the devoted staff who tirelessly work to make our formal not only possible, but one that will be unforgettable. Entering 2020, our expectations for our senior year were high. Many of us planned to experience the glorious, the glory, such as their house winning the swimming carnival, we all knew Arlington would win, and the thrills like performing at cultural events. However, despite the circumstances and many of our expectations not going to plan, I must congratulate you all here today. Your resilience and hard work have paid off, and I could not ask to celebrate tonight's special occasion with a better cohort. So with the many few hours we have with one another, I encourage you to create as many memories as you can. Thank you. Thank you very much, Claudia and Zaria. Some very inspiring words there. We're just about ready for entree, everybody, if you're hungry. So um, sit back, relax. Uh, just a quick reminder from the kitchen staff, if you do have a dietary requirement, make sure you let the waiters know on their way around so they know where to find you. Thank you, guys. Enjoy. I'll see you after entree. Have you enjoyed your entree? Uh, we'll continue with the school captains. Uh, next we have Aisha Khan. Thank you, Aisha. Good evening to all. Many of us dreamt of this day for years. We would talk about it and get really excited, eager to see one another in their beautiful dresses all glammed up and seeing the different vehicles everyone would come in for the arrivals. I know this day isn't what we dreamed of but none of us would have predicted that our formal would occur during a global pandemic. But if I've learned anything, it's that when you focus on the good, the good gets better. So, focus on the fact that you don't have to see some people dance horribly, but you got to see each other's gorgeous dresses and suits. Make this night better than what we dreamed of. I'd like to also thank Mr. Saracini, our school mum, Miss Kylie, our leadership group and other teachers who made this night possible, even during the circumstances. We have been through so much this year, and honestly, you all deserve this night to celebrate and enjoy yourselves. I will definitely enjoy watching us girls attempt to get up and down the stairs. I know I struggle getting up here. Just kidding, I made everyone hold my dress. Anyways, I have to say you all look absolutely stunning. Yes, that was compulsory part of the speech. Okay, there's been enough said for me. So let's get this night started so I can smash you all in a game of Kahoot. Thank you. <clears throat> you done? You done? All right. Uh, good afternoon, all. Cool. Yeah, cheers, guys. 
Um, I cannot explain the joy it brings me when seeing everyone gathered here today while enjoying our formal in such unprecedented times. It is quite clear that a lot of this wouldn't have happened without the amazing organisation and effort from our outstanding year coordinator, Mr Seracini, and the students of the formal committee. And we can't forget the big-headed giant, Mr Wales, who broke our heart last year to become a cop for all his efforts from Year 11. And for all of you for making the enormous effort to attend tonight. This night is simply not just a night of dressing up and looking great, but a night to celebrate the long journey of our 13 year schooling career. It is amazing how fast 13 years flew past, especially the chaotic years of high school from seven to 12. I still remember seven back in 20, 2015, when caps and bucket hats were the coolest piece of attire, or to have a Bluetooth speaker blasting some DJ noise while on the staunch with the boys through the mall. <laughs> When reflecting on my high school career, it is quite clear that my happiest and warmest memories have come from my teachers and fellow peers. Personally, I think we have been quite blessed to have such an amazing group of teachers support us through our educational journey. Although 2020 may not have been one of the most amazing years of your, for your average senior student, I still look back on this year and say, wow. When you think about it, our cohort, the class of 2020, it has been a group of firsts. Not only were we the first year sevens to officially transfer into high school, we have also been the first of Queensland to transition to ATAR, and to top it all off, we will be the first to finish our schooling through a global pandemic. Although we may not be finished yet, it is still a huge statement of resilience and perseverance for all of us to still be here today, pushing through our final weeks of school. In these final weeks of school, I ask you all to take a second and look around and really embrace what days we have left, and to be grateful for the little things, such as the friends we see every day, or the teachers who put in the enormous amount of effort in trying to get you over the line. Now please, enjoy the night, and as Mr Edwards would say, big shout out to you all, we all look amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Aisha and Isaac. Uh, very impressive, and I've continued to be impressed by you guys throughout the year for your maturity and willingness to work through anything, so thank you guys very, very much. I'll speak about that more later on. Um, we've actually got dinner not too far away now at the moment. There's just a few things I'd like to go through before we get there. All right, um, on your table, you may be wondering why well, there's a small cardboard box. Okay, within the cardboard box, there are voting ballot papers. Okay, so we've got probably 40 minutes or so after dinner, I'll collect these papers. What I'd like you to do is read through the questions each person on the table gets a, a ballot card. You write down who you think best fits the award or the category, fold it up and put it back in the box for collection later on. Okay, these awards will be presented later on. Okay, the, there's a few prizes to give out tonight. So don't think about who's the most popular or who it should be. Think about who you think it's been from tonight. Uh, there is a last minute inclusion. At the bottom of your voting papers, could you also add the category of best dressed teacher? Okay, Mr. Tattersall definitely requested that we have that as an award. Um, also guys, once dinner gets started, or even before we get dinner, I believe the photo booth is nearly ready for, for production. Excellent. Okay, guys, just be mindful when using the photo booth. All right, we do still need to try and stick to our social distancing guidelines. So I recommend for a first round, we just go table by table and have a maximum of six people over at the photo booth. And once they've left, Make sure you enter one way, exit the other way, get a quick couple of photos, come back to your table. Afterwards, we'll have plenty of time later on in the night to get with your other groups of friends, etc. But we don't want too many people over there. You can't fit that many people in a photo booth photo anyway. So enjoy yourselves. Um, make sure you fill out your voting cards. Enjoy dinner. It's hopefully not too far away. Thank you.